In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to take a screenshot and paste it into a Microsoft Teams post for your class. So here's my class that I have set up, um, and there's some content that I want to share with them as a screenshot. So I'm going to open my web browser. I've got this lovely article from Wikipedia, uh, talk discussing Microsoft Teams, but I only want a part of this page to be shared with the, the students. I don't want to share all of this content and start confusing them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this tool called Snip and Sketch. This is built into Windows 10 um, and you can find it by searching your start menu and clicking on Snip and Sketch. But I have it pinned to my start bar here. And then I'm just going to click New. Um, what will happen, the window will darken and my cursor will be turned into a little crosshair. And I'm going to drag it over this section. All I want is this first paragraph of text. I'm going to release the mouse. And then that pulls it, the little screenshot, into uh, Snip and Sketch. And what I can do from here, if I want to, I can highlight some of the path text. Use up my little highlighter here, and I, maybe I want to let the students know that this is a really important part that they need to go. And now all I need to do is click the copy option up here. Or I can do Control C as well. That's copied it to my clipboard. I'm going to hop into Teams, and I'm just going to right-click and paste in the box here, and it will paste the image, and I can share it with my students takes a second to send and then when the students click on that on the image they'll get a full view and it will show you all of your annotations as well. A really useful feature of Snip and Sketch is the ability to delay taking the screenshot. So that's useful in a situation such as this. I'm going to use the start menu as an example. But let's say I want to take a screenshot of this part of the screen and share it with my students. If I go back to Snip and Sketch and click new you'll see the start menu disappears so what I can do instead is use the snip in three seconds option so I'm going to click that now and what that does it gives me three seconds to get the menu open and then it converts into snip and sketch screenshot I can now drag over the start menu and then it will pull that into Snip and Sketch. Now this is really useful on things like websites where they've got overlay menus, or if you've got a quite a complex website where there's lots of information being displayed at once.